I'm getting this better. Hi John. Um, so today I'm squatting equipped um, and what I want to do is I want to take you guys through what a typical equipped session is like. So I made a post about this on Instagram. Um, equipped lifting is very, very popular worldwide. However, in Australia and through large parts of America as well, I guess, its popularity is not so much. Um, the history of Equipped, well, Equipped's been around since forever, and Raw, or Classic, or whatever you want to call it, was only introduced in 2011. So, Equipped is all that existed, I guess, in the last 15 or 20 years in the competitive scene of the IPF. And it's only recently that Raw came around, and the boom of Raw has seen Raw, especially in Australia, become far more popular than Equipped. A lot of people don't understand what Equipment is, so I just want to give you a bit of an insight into what Equipment is like. What the hell is that? Um, and how it all works. So I want to show you what equipment I have. So this is my box of equipment. Um, not all of it's mine, a lot of it's borrowed stuff. Yeah, you might have but some of it is. I've got a couple of shirts. I've got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, and I'll show you pretty much this is like an Inza uh, TRX. It's a squat suit. Um, my squat suit is a Kia. So this is probably the most popular squat suit on the market, one of the most popular ones. It's a Super Centurion. Um, and you'll see that it looks a lot like a soft suit. So if you've got a soft suit, you know what they're like. It looks exactly like one, but it's super, super stiff. And you're going to see how tight that is to get on a little bit later. And that's really, really stiff. So you can imagine that as you're coming down in the squat, that whole backside, the hips, that all gets loaded and assists you in the lift. Best, the best equipped squatters in the world with knee wraps get 100, 120 kilos above their raw max. Um, but it takes a lot of practice and I'm not at that level yet. I'm not claiming to be an expert in equipment, but uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys what a typical equipment session looks like. So obviously first I'm warming up uh, raw. I've got five warm-up sets to do raw. Um, I'm following a program by a friend in Sweden, Alex Ericsson. So I've got five sets raw first before I throw on the suit. So as I said, I'm doing a uh, raw warm-ups. This is only 155, but because if I put my knee wrap, knee sleeves on, it makes putting on my suit really hard because then my legs get really sweaty, and sweaty is bad when trying to put on a suit. So rather than use my knee sleeves for the warm-up, I'm just using a mega light. Ooh, stuff that up. A really light knee wrap, and I'll use a much tighter wrap later, which you'll see. Really loose knee wraps. I'll show you them in a second. Oh, now the fun begins. Okay, uh, I just warmed up. I'm gonna chuck this on, and it's really, really tight. So what a lot of guys use, they use suit slippers. So suit slippers are like compression gear that you wear so that way the material on this slides up, up slides up your legs. I don't have suit slippers. A lot of people just use plastic bags, so that's what I'm gonna be using. So the plastic bag sits around your leg and then the suit slides up that. Well, that's the idea anyway. That's my leg. I actually didn't use, I didn't even use plastic bags last week. I just used old skins, so I don't know if this is gonna work. Alrighty. You'll see even from last week, that's all the bruising that I have from last week. Now this, fold this down, just like so. 
So you can see that even with the, with the plastic bags, like, let's see if I can get this to show. There's a bit of slidage there, it slides up easy. Easy, relatively speaking. If I didn't have the plastic bags or some sort of slipper, it would just get stuck on, just get stuck on my skin because my skin's so sweaty. It wouldn't come on. Okay, that's it. Oh, good. Okay, so you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not as high as I'd like, like that should be another inch or two higher. It's hard to get that last little bit, so it helps me pull the straps up. But even putting the straps up is difficult. So I'm gonna need a hat. There we go. Done. It only took me five minutes. Now. So what I'm doing is I'm putting tension into the wrap. So what you can see is that I'm stretching the wrap and then rolling it so that there's already tension in the knee rack. The knee racks, unlike knee sleeves, provide mechanical support. So as you're going down in the squat, the wraps stretch and that actually acts like an extension moment around your knee. So by pre-stretching it now, it's already got that tension in it. So when I go to wrap my knee in a minute or two's time, that tension's already there. I don't need to stretch the wrap as I'm rolling. It just saves me a bit of effort later. I got 250 on the bar, uh, 235. This is my second equipped set. I'm um, just wrapping my knees now. You'll see that how I wrap my knees. It's like a spiral and then an X on top. Pretty standard wrapping style. Chuck this on. blood vessels. Right. Thanks Chris. Thanks Lyndon. Is that depth? Close. Oh. That looked okay on this footage. Wait a little So because this is my top set, I go a bit tighter on the wrap. A lot tighter on the wrap.
that's my session. Four sets of equipped squats, uh, two sets of 250, two singles. I uh, hope you uh, gained a bit of insight into what an equipped session looks like. You can see that it's really, really, really different. Um, like even just wrapping my knees takes a minute and a half, and that can take your breath out of it. And then you still gotta do the squat. You need someone to help you put the straps up. And then you need squatters as well, because obviously the weight's really heavy. One of the hardest parts about the equipped squatting is the fact that you've got like a weight that's way over your raw max and you have to try to walk it out. You have to try to breathe. Like when you've got that much weight on your rib cage, it's really hard to take a breath because it's just pushing down in your rib cage. So it's really, really hard. Um, that's my session. If you've got any questions about equipped, I mean like I'm no expert, I don't claim to be, but there's hope for those that have never seen what an equipped session might look like. Uh, you found something uh, interesting in that video. The job's not done. I still have to take this thing off. Yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, nearly.